Welcome to this tutorial about how to get started with data labeling using Super Annotate on Databricks. We will start out by importing the Super Annotate client from the Super Annotate library and the Super Annotate Databricks connector that among other things contain functions to transform the output from the Super Annotate forward into Databricks data frame. To connect to your Super Annotate team from Databricks, we will first navigate to the settings tab on the Super Annotate web platform to generate an SDK token. In production, we recommend that you use Databricks Secret Manager to handle your tokens, but in this tutorial, we will simply paste this into the Super Annotate client. To validate the connection, you can print the team name. We're now ready to set up our first project. Here we're doing this through our SDK, but it is also possible to set it up in our graphical user interface. We provide a name, description, and a project type. For this tutorial, we have prepared a data set with photos of grapes, and we're therefore going to use the vector project type, a type that is specialized on image data. There are a wide array of different editors as well, such as video, text, LiDAR, and much more. We're going to create bounding boxes or polygons around our grapes, and we're therefore setting up a class called grapes. A class can be either of the type object, that is something within an image, or a tag, that is more like a generic class that can be assigned to one entire item. Each object or class and tag can also have different attributes. When created, this class shows up in the platform, and it is also possible to create classes from here as well. The grape dataset is published in a public S3 bucket together with a file containing the URLs of the images and the names. We are reading this file into a Databricks data frame and attaching it to our project using the attach images function. When attaching items, they're never persisted on our platform and you're always in full control of your data. We're now ready to start annotating. You can open one item in our vector editor and pre-select the class on the left-hand side. To annotate with bounding boxes, we can click on the X key and then start drawing. When finished with one image, we can click on the complete button in the upper right corner to proceed to the next one. There is a wide array of automatic tools to assist you with the annotation work as well. To use the magic polygon, we press M and draw a scribble on the item we want to annotate to automatically generate a polygon. When finishing annotations, you can use the Explore feature to query, filter, and quality control your dataset at scale. If you discover an item that needs corrections, you can simply select it and disapprove it or leave a comment from here. To get the annotations back into Databricks, use the Get Annotations function together with the Get Vector Data Frame function from the Super Annotate Databricks connector. This will generate a Spark data frame containing metadata about the images as well as the annotations. And you can now go on to train your machine learning algorithms with ease.